What's going on today, you guys? Today I'm gonna to tell you about some of the ways that I practice focus, one of the most important tools we have as musicians. Let's get right into it. So guys, just like practicing your instrument, I believe that focus is something that needs to be cultivated and practiced. Being able to focus is absolutely a skill and it's gonna be one of the biggest allies in your musical life. I am personally someone that has a really hard time focusing unless I practice it all the time. So recently I found this out about myself and I started pursuing all these different ways to practice focus. Here's five of the ways that helped me the very most. So the first thing and arguably the most important thing that has helped me focus all the time is meditation. Every single morning I try to meditate for at least 10 minutes and the app that I usually use is this app called Waking Up by Sam Harris. And a lot of people swear by Headspace the app too. And of course you don't even need an app, you can just research it or figure out ways that work for you to meditate. But basically the type of meditation I practice is called Transcendental Meditation. And it's basically clearing your mind, it's kind of creating a blank slate in your mind to be able to focus on whatever task you have at hand. And it's really about sharpening your mind rather than dulling your mind. This is one of the most important tools I have to practice focusing and I highly, highly recommend it to everybody. And the most important thing about meditation is to do it every single day. And I've done it in a little burst for a long time and that really doesn't help. It has to be a daily practice and you wanna kind of put it into your daily schedule. I've been doing it every morning after I take a shower and it's been helping me a ton. And usually you're gonna to have to do it for about 15 days before you start to see results. But yeah, I highly recommend you try this out. It helps me a ton with focusing. So number two and probably the second most important thing is reading. When I was a kid, I would read books literally all day and I would get through a book in a day and I'd be reading all the time. And this was so good for my focus and so good for me to learn things. But somewhere along the way, probably right around the beginning of high school, I stopped reading. And I basically stopped reading besides in school just a little bit for many, many years, right up until I got into college again. And I started reading again and I had a really, really difficult time focusing on what was happening in the book. And I'd have to reread things a ton of times. So this is something I really had to start practicing. And the perfect gateway for me personally was audiobooks. And this may sound crazy, but it's a perfect way for me to practice focusing. And once I started reading books again, I was able to focus way, way better than I normally had. And also audiobooks is a great way for me to retain information as well. So I've read a ton of audiobooks lately and I highly recommend Audible. There's a lot of really inexpensive audiobooks you can get into. And I especially recommend Malcolm Gladwell. He's a great author. I've been reading a ton of his books recently. Seth Godin, Chase Jarvis, and I have other videos on books down below if you wanna go check those out. But yeah, reading. Reading is a really, really important thing. And if you have a really difficult time reading a physical book, I recommend you start reading audiobooks and then eventually get into hard copy books. And the hard copy books will really help you focus, especially if you can do this for a long period of time without getting distracted. So guys, number three is practicing minimalism. And I'm definitely not the best at this, but I try to get better at it every single day. And I just try to get rid of a few little things of mine every day. And I tend to have a lot of shit and I have all these different hobbies that I really like. So I accumulate all this crap, but whenever I have less stuff, it really helps me focus a lot more. When the space is clean, when I just have less clutter around, it really can help you focus. So yeah, I'd highly recommend you go check out Matt Diavella's YouTube channel, Craig Adams' YouTube channel. These guys are all real minimalists and they have really great ideas on this, but I feel like this is a really great way to focus. And the little bits of this I've even done have helped me out a ton. And I'm definitely gonna keep pursuing this. So number four is listening to music without distractions. And I highly recommend you listen to an entire album all the way through without distractions. And once again, this was a really difficult thing for me to get into because I was always listening to music while distracted, while in the car and I never really sat down, shut my eyes, and just listened to a record. I highly recommend you get on a good pair of headphones or get some nice speakers to listen to music to. It makes it a lot more enjoyable for me. You can get into a nice pair of headphones for relatively cheap, especially on Craigslist or anything. So yeah, I highly recommend you listen to an album all the way through, challenge yourself to do this. Carl Allen recently challenged me to do this, and I've been listening to albums all the way through, and it really, really helps you focus, especially as musicians. It's kind of crazy that a lot of us don't listen to an album all the way through all the time. A whole album can be a piece of art and it can be really cohesive, especially if it's a really great record. So yeah, I highly recommend you listen to whole albums all the way through. It's a really great way to practice focus. 
So number five, and a kind of obvious one, is practicing my instrument with intention. And this is a really difficult thing for me to do also, because a lot of times I'll be practicing and I'll find myself just kind of messing around within a few minutes and I'll have to bring myself back into focusing. So something I really try to do is go into every practice session with intention and go in there with intention to do certain things. Usually that involves writing down a list and it's really difficult to focus really intently on your practicing and usually you have to do it in small bursts this way but it's so much more productive and it's a great way to practice focusing, to be able to practice in really great sessions like this and in really intense and meaningful practice sessions like this. So yeah, practicing your instrument with intention. So for a kind of bonus round, number six, and that's coffee. Drinking coffee has really helped me focus personally. I usually just drink one cup a day, sometimes I'll drink two. I always have an espresso every single morning. I love coffee. That's definitely one of my hobbies. I love all the different varieties of beans, figuring out all the different ratios of espresso and all that different stuff, weighing all my beans and all that crap. But anyways, caffeine. Caffeine can really help you focus. And for me, that really helps. It might not work for you, but maybe give it a try. Thank you guys so much for watching today. And if you have any questions about this video or about focus, please let me know down in the comments down below. And if you're enjoying my videos, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching again today and I hope to see you in the next one.